Hey you guys, it's Peter and welcome to my channel, Peter's Crazy Reviews on Peter Boom 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 Reviews Stuff. And I am sitting out here, literally, in the middle of nowhere. I am sitting off of the side of State Road 31 between uh, Westfield, Indiana and Kokomo, Indiana. And I am at Wilson's Family Farm. Now, I heard about this place from my neighbors. Um, we have some new neighbors as of like a year and a half ago. And they like to try all new places in Indianapolis because they moved here from somewhere else. And they came here because um, our neighbor's husband he loves fried chicken. And Wilson's Family Farm, which I believe is, they told me it's an Amish farm. I don't know. I don't know anything about it. All I know is that they have pumpkins over here. And there it is, right there. I'm getting ready to drive over there and show it to you guys. They have all these picnic tables and tables out here where you can eat, I'm assuming, in the summer. And they supposedly have a huge deli. <laughs> and like produce and all this kind of stuff. Here, actually, let me read you what I found on it. Let me see, hold on a second. Um, and I will tell you a little bit more about this. I know nothing about this place. Although when my neighbors came home, they had pumpkin pies. They had, ma I think macaroni and cheese or macaroni salad, potatoes. They had all this stuff from the deli. And they were like, it is so good. And they're like, you have to go. And I was like, well, I like food, and I like homemade food. Where is it? And so they've told me. And literally for like three or four months, I've been like wanting to come here and try it. So, um, Wilson's Farm, is this it? This Here it is. Our fresh farm products in Arcadia, Indiana. For over 40 years, Wilson Farm Market has been a fixture on US 31, just north of Westfield, Indiana. Owners, and it says their names, Bill and Judy Wilson, are proud to have provided families in central Indiana with fresh and locally grown farm products for so many years, and they hope to continue to do so for many years to come. I guess it's not an Amish farm. I don't know why they were they thought it was an Amish farm. If you're looking to do some grocery shopping, because there's a lot of like these kind of places in Indiana that sell like Amish goods, because in northern Indiana, we have a lot of like um, Amish and Mennonite farms in northern Indiana. Um, Okay, if you're looking to do some grocery shopping, come visit our newly renovated store. We have just what you need for your local picnics, family gatherings, graduation parties, and tailgate events. We have delicious bakery goods. Okay, so today when I was leaving, I told my neighbor that I was coming here, and she goes, you're gonna lose your mind over the bakery. And I go, what? She goes, I'm just telling you, you're gonna lose your mind over the bakery. And I just reviewed these revolution, uh, rebellion donuts. So, oh my lord. Okay. Um, we have delicious bakery goods, fresh deli meats and cheeses, hand-dipped ice cream, old-fashioned candle or candies, oh my lord, pies, Amish meats, fresh produce, novelty jellies and jams, and even seasonal goods like morel mushrooms. If you are interested in our far a fresh farm-grown goods, please give us a call or stop by today. We always look forward to seeing new faces at our store. If you are planning to stop by a farmer's market or the Indiana State Fair this summer, come and find, uh, uh, find us. We sell our famous sweet corn, oh my lord, and pretzel pretzels at fairs and farmers markets across Indiana. Chickalicious fried chicken is what it's called. They have a whole thing on there about that. Learn more about our bakery. If you have a sweet tooth, come check out our bakery. We have delicious breads, pies, donuts. I'm so screwed. Amish uh, fry pies, pie, fry pies, where are Amish fry pies? Homemade fudge, oh my God, homemade fudge! Our baked goods are perfect for a nice breakfast with a hot coffee in the morning or as a dessert later after dinner. It, this is just, this sounds like everything. This is like, so I woke up early this morning on a very serious note and like I went and got coffee. I did this review. I was in such a fantastic mood. I was like, cause I am like just loving the simplicity of life right now. You know, like a hot cup of coffee, doing a meditation in the morning, like sitting outside, being part of the universe and all this kind of stuff. And I'm loving all of that. And like this just even like makes me so much more happy because this is like literally the the embodiment of the simplicity of life, you know? Um, just to like have a great dessert item. I mean, it so reminds me of like my mom or like my, you know, like, yes, my grandma, that grandma, back in the day that like after dinner they would sit down there, you know, and have like a piece of like, you know, apple cobbler with like, do you remember back in the day? Like, I don't know that many people do that very often today where they actually have like a dessert, you know? Like apple crumble, crumble or like apple cobbler with a scoop of ice cream there are people coming out here with like carts of groceries and stuff so I guess I should probably pull in now I'm gonna tell you I'm gonna try to film some of it on video on my phone but whenever I do that that always makes me very very nervous because I'll tell you um, I was actually just talking about this on my vlog um, I'm not like I'm across the street from the actual parking place 
Um, I'm not like one of those people that, like I am so socially awkward, you guys, and I have such bad social anxiety that I get really, really nervous when I go into social settings. And um, to have like a camera out filming, like I'm not that vlogger. I'm just not that person at all. So um, we're gonna go in here and we're gonna do the darn thing. They have porta pots in the back. <laughs> Live. Oh my God. All right, you guys. So I will, and if I don't film, then I will, when I come back, I will show you what I purchased. Okay? So I'll see you in two and two. All right, I'm back. <laughs> Let me just tell you, first of all, when I stepped out of my car, and it's because I'm right behind, like where I parked is right behind the deli right here. Um, you can see it, it's like there's the window to the deli. But um, when I stepped out of my car, I'm literally like, oh my God. It is like the, all you can smell is fried chicken. It smells like a Kentucky fried chicken, but like, you know, I don't know, it smells better than a Kentucky Fried Chicken. Even though I don't eat meat anymore, like it smells like a down-home diner. I don't even know how to explain it to you. So, let me show you, I got a bunch of stuff. Um, it was an interesting experience. It wasn't what I expected. I don't know what I expected, so, um, I'm gonna show you a little video here uh, real quick so you can see, I, I just kinda took it of some of the stuff that they have around the store, so here you go. smell a mile away, it smells so good. Oh my god, old fashioned pumpkin butter. Okay, so you can see a lot of what I saw. Um, you walk in, and they had a bunch of like Halloween stuff to the left, but the reason I didn't take a video of that is because the woman at the cash register is literally sitting like right there. And then there's this woman about like this renewal, window renewal thing, and she's like, <laughs> she's so funny. She's like sitting at this thing, and she's just like, when you walk by, she goes, get your windows renewed, <laughs> window renewal service. And she's just like, it's a real nice lady, right? So you kind of go around, it's like very, the store seems like very cluttered to me. Like there's just stuff everywhere. I mean, uh, like everywhere, right? Um, but you very much feel like you're in like a mom and a pop grocery store, which is really cool. So like if you go around past the, the, uh, the register, which there's a bunch of candy. So I will show you, I did get a pack of blackjack gum because I love it. Um, I need to put this in my, where's my fanny pack? Over here. Um, 
Then you go around to the bakery and they have all kinds of stuff in the bakery. They have breads and cookies and it's mostly stuff from the Wilson Farm. Like if you look on it, it says the Wilson Farm on it. But then they have um, other stuff on there from like local places too. No, I, I saw like they had like Mike Sells potato chips and they had some other stuff. But mostly what they have is all um, like local pl places, local farms. Like if you look on the, the label, it'll say like, you know, like the, the Mon Farm, <laughs> as if I have a farm. The Mon Farm, like, you know, established in like 1911 and then it'll say like, you know, um, Arcadia, Indiana or something like that. So for, next I walked through the bakery. Now I showed you guys everything that they have and then I came back. Um, and so while I was at the bakery, because my neighbor, she told me um, about this place, I got her a loaf of, now I don't know if she even likes banana bread, but I got her a loaf of banana bread. Um, which I'm very, very excited about. So um, I'm gonna give that to her today. And um, then I went in the back and I looked at the deli and stuff. And then they have all these like raw preserves. And Tanya was gonna make, she's always looking to see like what the sugars are and stuff. Like how much sugar is in something because she does like low sugar diet, you know? And so last night when we were, was it last night or the night before? It was the night before we went to the Meyer, and um, she was like getting like this strawberry filling. And I go, what are you getting that for? And it was like, low, she was like, it's hard to find like low sugar strawberry filling and I wanna make a strawberry pie. So while I was in there, I saw Amish made, no sugar added strawberry rhubarb pie filling. Okay, it was $9.99, and so I was like, I am so excited. I'm gonna give this to Tanya Jean, distributed by the Amish Buggy, it says right here. Newton, Illinois, and uh, Amish, uh, Amish, Amish slash Buggy.com. Ingredients, strawberries, rhubarb, grape juice, concentrated water, uh, moderated flood, food starch, and almond flavoring. That's all that's in it. So, it doesn't have any nutritional value things on the side of it. But for crust recipe, it tells you <laughs> combine flour, shape dough. I mean, it has like a recipe right here on the side of it. And then it says pour pie filling into pie crust and top with remaining pie crust. Turn edge under, bake at 425 degrees for 30 minutes. So, I'm excited to give this to Tanya. So, that's my little gift from her for the day. And my neighbor, there you go, people. People, oh, I forgot, I need my receipt because I keep all my receipts so that I can have a balanced checkbook, you know. Okay, do you guys do that? I do that. You should do that if you don't. <laughs> Watch my vlog, I talk about that on my vlog all the time. Where's my wallet? Hell's bells, I thought I forgot my wallet. Okay, damn it, Janet, I'm losing my mind today. Been up too early. Then I went back to where the deli was. I'm gonna put this over here on the floor. I went back to where the deli was. And the first thing, well on the side, before we get to the deli, they have all the cheeses. And they had a lot of cheese curds, like they had basil and tomato cheese curds, garlic cheese curds, pepper jack cheese curds, and they're all from the Wilson Farm. They also have Wilson Farm Market sliced Amish Swiss, Swiss cheese, this was expensive, it's $4.47, here you go. So I'm gonna try this in just a second. And then I also got some, They did, okay, so everything that they have in there is like meat, it's like chicken, 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 and then a lot of their salads had meat in it. So one of them that didn't was the cauliflower broccoli salad. So I got this from, this is straight from the deli, so we're gonna try this in just a second. And then I got um, some of their macaroni and cheese. This was $1.19 <laughs> for this macaroni and cheese. I said, can I have the smallest macaroni and cheese? There you go. It smells pretty good. So we're gonna, what should I try first? I feel like I should try the, oh, oh my God, the best. I forgot to show you the best. Simply the best. <laughs> I got Wilson Farms Old Fashioned Apple Cider. I mean, it has like, the woman that worked at the counter, she was so funny. She had like a real dry sense of humor and I don't think the people in front of her like could understood it. Um, but she was like really funny. She had me laughing so hard in there. Um, so anyway, she was like, are you gonna drink this right now? And I was like, yeah. So she left it out for me. She rolled the other stuff. I can't open this, <laughs> damn it. I always think that I should keep like 
Oh my lord, you know what? I just put this in my fanny pack the other day. Um, reason 420 for carrying a purse. I kept nail trimmer in here. So here, this little thing right here, which is basically um, a knife that you could kill somebody with, will work just fine. And see, it did. Kind of. Yep, it did. Simply the best. All right. Better than all the rest. These people are probably like, what is going on in that car over there? I, just apple cider, I swear. Um, okay, I want this whole thing off of here, though. Are you guys like that? It drives me crazy if I can't just get, like, the whole thing off. Okay, there we go. It's like price tags. I hate price tags on stuff. So, let's try this apple cider, first of all. She's a little red bray on, like she just got back from France. Aren't you fancy? Okay. Let's try this. I mean... That is so good. Ingredients, sound ripe apples, citric acid, 100% juice with added ingredients. You have to drink it before 10, 15, 2020. This is so good. Oh no. No, oh, it says the date that it was... What? I don't understand that. Anyway. Okay. First, let's try the sliced Amish Swiss. Are you ready? I've never been readier. Now, you do know that I'm a cheese expert, right? So, let's try this. This is hands down some of the best cheese I've ever had. It's so creamy. I really like that boar's head. Is that what it's called? This is so much better. Oh my God. Part of the problem with cheese is I don't know when to stop. Are you guys like that? I don't know when to stop. Five out of five. Oh wait, let's try this cauliflower broccoli salad. I have to say, I'm not super excited about this. I'm actually a little worried about it. It's like real, I was like, it's real broccoli, obviously it would be. Did you see I brought a fork with me? It's actually really good. I love broccoli salad. This broccoli salad that I was eating at fresh time, it had like, um, I found it had little bacon bits in it and it was so over it. This is not, this is not, this is so good. There's a lot of pieces of like onion in here that taste really good. Um, it tastes like a mix between coleslaw and broccoli salad. You know when you go to the deli and stuff does not taste homemade? Like, this tastes so incredibly homemade. It's really good. Oh my god, that's a 5 out of 5. I have a little lunch later for me. <laughs> I've had so much already today. <laughs> anyway, okay. And the last thing is macaroni and cheese. And I have to tell you, this was like in this huge container that looked like your grandma had put it in the oven and it had like the tin foil and everything on it. That doesn't mean that it's gonna be the best micro macaroni and cheese though. Okay, so it's very homemade. I don't love homemade macaroni and cheese. If you know the stories, I just don't, okay? I love really processed macaroni and cheese, like Kraft and whatever. It's good, but it very much tastes like my grandma's macaroni and cheese or my aunt's macaroni and cheese. This girl literally keeps on going in and out of the porta pot I don't know what she is doing over there, but <laughs> she was just working up in the diner. I saw her up in there, and now she's out in and out of the porta pot left and right. I don't know what's going on in that place, but it's getting more action than that diner, I can tell you that. It's really, really good, you guys. If you like homemade macaroni and cheese, it's literally, like, so good. 
but I just love processed macaroni and cheese more. But you see that I keep on eating it, right? Because it's really that good. It's good. I just like, I, I like, I like out of a box better. I don't know why. I don't know. Maybe I'm just weird. So anyway, yeah. But I would give that a five too. It's better. It, it, it just, all this stuff tastes so homemade. I think that's what's absolutely amazing about it. It's all like so homemade tasting. Really delicious. So anyway, well, all right. This is a fun little experience. Um, I don't know what I expected. It was definitely different than what I thought it would be. Um, I don't know that I, I thought, you know, people would be in there playing like the, the banjos or violins or something. You know what I mean? But th there wasn't a whole lot of that. But people were super friendly and um, they had all kinds of stuff. It's a cute little like grocery store, little mom and pop grocery store. And they got pumpkins and there were kids running around the, up the front by their grandpa. They were like, pop, they were like, pappy, pappy, I, this pumpkin, this pumpkin when I was walking in there and stuff. So it's real cute. Anyway. So if you're ever up between Westfield and Kokomo, or you're driving north out of Indiana, up 31, check out Willison's Farm. And um, yeah, I love you, Farm Market. I love you guys. And I, two, you got two reviews today. I love you, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.